So we're in the village of Spili on the island of Crete right now. Right now we are at this place called Tosi de Radico. This is called the Old Forge. It's an old traditional Cretan restaurant here in the small village of Spili. And this is an awesome experience because they don't actually have a menu. You come in here and the way that uh, you look at the food to choose is not by a menu but by actually going inside the restaurant and then the chef, probably the owner as well, uh, he kind of takes you through all these dishes that they are making each and every day fresh. So no menu, but you actually get to look. Uh, the, uh, the chef explains to you what each and every dish is. You get to look at it and everything looks so nice, traditional, delicious and fresh. This is awesome. So we, we got a few things from the menu. Uh, that's not really a menu. We got this beautiful beef and noodles that looks really, really nice. We also got these beans that I love to eat, these giant beans here in Crete. Uh, we also got some meatballs that look really delicious. Uh, we also got a spinach pie. I think the kids are gonna like that. So uh, we got a bunch of the different dishes, but they make all kinds of dishes. You also see uh, they, they're making chicken and okra. They're making lamb and beans, which also look really good to me. Uh, and they have a few other dishes, so it's really nice, traditional, and uh, an awesome place to start the day. This is the beef with the homemade noodles. They actually make these noodles in-house, and the chef told me that this is uh, baby beef, so it's gonna be very, very nice and tender. This actually kind of looks like a beef stroganoff, like a Greek version of beef stroganoff, and you can see this cheese that is piled at the top of this noodles and beef uh, dish. This looks really, really nice. It looks like a country style beef and noodles right here. So let's give this one a try. All right, so right off the bat, you could just see that you don't even need a knife for this beef. You could just cut it and tear it wide open with just a spoon that is ultra, ultra tender. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scoop up some of that super tender beef and we're gonna scoop up some of those noodles, some of that cheese, and some of that sauce at the bottom. Let's try it out. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That beef is just so, so tender. It's all about the beef. It's really the star here. That is just really nice. It's a very simple dish. It's like a country style beef and noodles with some cheese. That sauce at the bottom is basically just like the beef sauce. That is very nice. So what you're gonna wanna do is scoop up some of that country style bread and you're gonna wanna dip it into that beef sauce at the bottom. Just let it soak all those beef juices and then just take a bite of it. And that's the way you do it. Let's try these giant beans as they call them here. These are homemade giant beans. You can see they, they come with these big chunks of carrots and tomatoes and they're also kind of, you know, they're, they're kind of sitting in this bed of a very fatty sauce. I have a feeling this is going to be a porky kind of sauce. Let's try these out. Mm -hmm. oh, beans are beautiful. They're definitely cooked in pork fat. Now, you don't want to scoop up all that sauce because it's going to be really quite fatty, but the beans themselves are delicious. They're very soft. It's just country style cooking right here. I want to taste the meat. Wow, how is it? Is it nice? Is it a thumbs up? We also got the spinach by this homemade spinach by kind of like a Spanish pita. Let's try this out. This is freshly made country style. You can see it has all these sesame seeds on it. Let's try this out. Mmm. Whoa. That's amazing. Whoa, that is just so, so soft. Wow, that spinach is just lightly salty. 
Yeah, but well, that is amazing. Compared to the Spanica pita that I tend to get back home in North America, this is just so, so nice. It's a simple dish, but it's all about the spinach inside and the filo pastry on the outside and how nice and soft it is. That's what it's about, and that's what makes it really, really good. After a delicious meal, we took a stroll through Spilly Village where the restaurant is located. The small town of only 800 people is located in the central west of Crete and is about 27 kilometers from Rethymno. It is most known for its Kefalovrisi, or the Lion's Fountain, a series of lion heads with lovely cool spring water trickling out of them. It's quite a miracle to see natural running water on a dry and hard Mediterranean island-like tree. It's truly a sight to be seen. We also took time to stroll through the winding lanes of the village and walked uphill to the local folk museum. The owner gave us a lively tour and was great with the kids. definitely recommend making a quick stop at Tosideradico Tavern and the town. This is gonna do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And from the GoTo family here in Greece on the island of Crete, we'll see you guys in the next one.